If you're just getting started with the deadlift, it can be an intimidating movement. A few ways to modify are changing your equipment. Instead of using, say, a, a barbell, you could use something that you're more familiar with, like a kettlebell or a dumbbell. It's great to use these different equi the, a dumbbell or a kettlebell to train the movement pattern so you don't have to worry about the grip as much, because grip makes a big difference in this movement. What you see in front of me is a bench, step bench, with my kettlebell on top. When people are getting started with the deadlift, one of my favorite variations is to teach them how to do the deadlift from less a conventional deadlift, and even an RDL, from a raised surface. So that's what we're going to do. I have this bench set at like 8 or 10 inches. And the kettlebell is going to be set up just like a traditional, traditional conventional deadlift. It's going to be right underneath, with the kettlebell, it's going to be right underneath, but underneath my crotch between my legs. It's not in front of me. When I sit back, my arms, all I have to do is go straight down. With the, this setup, I don't have as big of a distance to pull. So you're going to do the same things, except you have less less of a distance. You when you're learning, what I suggest is to do a rep and then reset every time. This might mean you have to reset getting into a neutral spine, which is very relevant for postpartum women that their deep core is still not trained. This is also great if you're coming from an injury. When you have a back injury or or even different types of hip injuries where it's painful to be anywhere at this level or, or this level, adjusting the height makes a big difference. So consider this option. Resetting helps train your nervous system how to get into that neutral position. So you're reinforcing that pattern versus you know, letting your, your form fall after doing multiple reps. Other things that you can do it, that don't include changing the height would be using a piece of equipment like a barbell or a med ball that you can drop. The barbell that I've used in previous videos, I can't drop. But if I have bumper plates, like with my other barbell, I can drop. And the benefit of that is focusing on one phase of movement, the pulling part. So this part of the movement, and then dropping. So the, a lot of people, what I see is not all, like one phase of the movement is pretty good, but then the, the, the other phase is where they break down. And oftentimes, not necessarily the movement itself, but the transition is what gets people. So the transition meaning from here, right here like the instant motion from upright standing to going back. So if we focus on first one phase without weight and then working on the transition, that could be really helpful. So that's another way you can vary it. Other variations would just be reducing your weight. So not using as heavy of a weight or as low of a barbell or dumbbell. And um, as you get the technique down, regressing your modification, essentially. Like, I would take that bench, I'd take off two inches, one of the parts to make it lower, and then practice from there. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to enhance the deadlift regardless of which type of deadlift that you are doing.